Welcome back, you hero Goldberg. Today we'll be talking about a major in psychics, like speaking to spirits and predicting the future. Now, uh, so physics is one of those degrees that, on the one hand, the course of study is immensely fascinating and rewarding. You know, I personally love physics, but as far as getting a job, a little bit more dicey. So effective planning and just getting a sense of what specifically you want to do before going in is going to be paramount. We take a look here at the BLS for physicists and astronomers. 7% growth rate, which is pretty good, you know, uh, not negative or very minimal, although only 1,400 jobs. So that has to be compared against how many people are graduating with specific degrees. Understand that if you're doing something that is, you know, some type of, I'm a physicist, uh, and what I mean by that is they have this list right here, nuclear, medical, health, those are going to typically require more than a bachelor's. So don't just think, oh, I got a four-year degree, now I'm fully employed. You're going to be looking at a bachelor's, master's, and potentially even a PhD. And so that's where the complications begin to arise. And you have to be looking at not just, I want to study this, but what do I want to do? We also have the question potentially of teaching and We'll discuss a little bit later on, but you have the academic level or the university level, which is more competitive than you could be a high school science teacher, which may not be the most endearing, but for some folks, it is a solid job and it's the route that they want to take. So we have a little bit of data here as far as um, what you can make and where you're going to be going. Another thing to pay attention to, certain schools have the Bachelor of Science and then the Bachelor of Arts. Uh, and then others have only one. For the most part, if you're trying to go to grad school, the plan is, you know, you want to actually get the PhD, you want to be one of these higher level physicists that was just brought up, get the BS, uh, the curriculum is going to be more in line with what you want to be doing down the road. Now, there are some schools, I think I heard of one in California where they only have the BA and it's got similar coursework to a BS at another school, that's fine. But just don't think, oh, it's kind of like a BA in economics versus a BS in economics. Oftentimes it sets you down the road to a different path just based upon what classes you're required to complete. Now, one thing that people don't quite realize is that back in the 70s in particular, you had a lot of folks who went into the sciences because, oh, you know, we've got the growth of the space program, we've got all this new technology fighting the Soviets, and you ended up with an oversupply. That's why uh, there were stories of people with PhDs driving cabs because they couldn't get jobs. Now, some of them actually ended up, this guy, a little bit later on, this is the 80s, but some of them ended up going into finance. And this is what you'll see people who have, sometimes the undergrad, they'll go into analyst programs, but even if you have a PhD, they might hire you to be a quant because at higher levels of physics in particular, there is a lot of applied mathematics. So that's one potential route. Lots of money can be stressful, but it's one that you could take. But again, I would focus on the most, uh, the, the Bachelor of Science side of things, if you want to go that route and end up working with Goldman Sachs or whatever. So here you have one option, BlackRock, and these you know, you might see the dates and say, oh, it'll be expired by the time you see the video, but they're rolling admissions. So these are summer analyst programs, internship programs with investment banks, and you'll find them in most cases. And if you have a strong mathematics background, you have a decent shot, providing that you've got some type of extracurriculars and, you know, you can perform well in an interview, that could be one route to take. I pulled this up. This is higher ed jobs. For physics, the number of matches, it's about 500 if you're trying to go into regular academia teaching. You will find that a number of them are at community colleges. And the only thing to be careful with that is just because you have a job at a community college, well, just like a normal university, does not forcibly mean tenure. So even if you get a community college job and you want to seriously go that route as a teacher, you need to be you know, at least at the master's level, you still probably want to get a PhD and you need to be publishing stuff. You have to put out your own work to show that, okay, this is someone we actually want to have 
as an in-house scholar. As silly as that might sound at a community college, there are some of them that have tenure. And if you get tenure, you'll be okay in that setting. But if you don't go past that, uh, you're going to be in just a, an adjunct faculty or assistant professor, but you won't have the long-term stability that a tenure track position grants you. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there's the possibility of teaching in high school. These are the fields most in demand for 2017, 18, obviously math, special education is big, science, foreign language, and ESL. Uh, science in particular, if you have that background, you're going to you know, there's going to be a fighting chance. The main problem is you have to work in the public school system, which is not always the best paying, depending on what part of the country you're in, and you're dealing with a public school population, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. So my advice would be craft that on the basis of what you want and how much stress you want in your life, because if you're in a research position, it's going to be more demanding. If you are obviously in an investment bank, that's going to be a lot taken out of you. You want something simpler, you could take the teaching route, although that could be stressful if you've got a bunch of uh, rambunctious students. So those are my thoughts on physics, and if there's any other courses of study you want to see brought up here, just drop them below.